Hello Get Traders, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your futures trading interface on Get.io platform. There are two things I want you to do before we get into this video. There is a link placed in the description of this video for those of you who don't have an account with Get.io. Simply click on the link and get registered so you can follow through this particular tutorial. And after that, Make sure you give this video a like and let me know if you have any question after this video so I can answer you correctly. So let's get into it. First of all, after coming to get to the IO Futures platform, you're going to find it right here under derivatives. You can come to Perpetual Futures under USDM or the BTCM. Once you come over here, the next thing to do is to locate this particular button at the top right hand corner right here click on it and we are going to start customizing our futures trading interface so we can get the best user-friendly experience. So this is the first thing you have right there. The team, you can decide to make it dark or you can make it light. Whichever one suits you the best. You can actually see if you want to have it with this particular color, but I would prefer the dark one that is my own preference. So you can get your own according to how you want it. Start and time of the change you can use the 24 hours time window or you can use utc 00 or utc plus 5 whichever one best fits your time zone the next one is rise and fall of the colors of the candle the colors of the candles right here is not any industry standard or restricted to these particular colors you can choose any color you want and you can customize it right here by simply changing the color you can decide to use the rice as red and then the fall as green that is the opposite way of the way you can actually see right there so you choose the best for you keyboard shortcuts you can on it and you can off it and the shortcuts are right here spot buy slash futures open everything is right here customized for you you can own it or you can just leave it off depending on how you want it if you want to enable it you can simply click on this and it will be enabled automatically the next one is your contract positions there is a position mode one way mode or you can use the hedge mode one way mode simply means you can only take trade in one direction while the hedge mode simply means you can take both buy and sell at the same time let me repeat it again with one way mode you can only take trade in one direction for instance if you want to go bullish once you open a position in the bullish direction you wouldn't be able to open a sell trade or a bearish trade you can only open one trade at a time but if you enable the hedge mode you can take both buy and a sell at the same time and then we head over to the next one this one if you enable it once you enable this if you come over here you're going to have access to all the options limit order market order conditional order right here you can see all of them have been enabled right there then you have the order field notification sound if you want to get a notification sign you are going to enable it right here there will be a sound alert when an order is filled if you turn it on that is the simple way to use this particular function order fill notification it will notify you when there is an order fill that you have placed especially if you are taking a limit order it will notify you shortly after the order has been filled price deviation protection you can protect your price from being deviated it says once it is turned on no take profit or stop loss order will be sent to market in the case that the deviation between last price and the market exceeds a present threshold now there is something called slippage in the market once you fill in your order and then there is a sudden quick movement away from price this will protect you from that and you can also enable the take profit and stop loss trigger notice if you put a take profit and stop loss you will have a notification that will tell you that your take profit has been reached or your stop loss has been hit this is the best way to use this function and then funding payment trigger notice so whenever you are funding like you are moving money from your spot wallet to your derivative wallet it will notify you so you can have access to that and then fund password setup you can set up your fund password right here by simply clicking on it then you will be able to change it and you have some security details you must put in right here like your google authenticator email 
verification and SMS verification. All these functions are right there for you to get the best user experience. You can go ahead and check them and see if you've never used any of them, you can check it so you can get the best user experience. Let me remind you for the last time, if you have not yet get an account with get.io, do well to get one right away. Use the link in the description and create your own account. And if you are still watching this video till this time and you have not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, do well to do that immediately so you can get access to all the videos and all the value we have to offer you. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.